If you're not so fond of jelly, here's my chocolate mousse trifle. Hi everyone and welcome to Perima's Kitchen. I am Selena and yesterday I'm making a chocolate mousse trifle. For those who are not big fans of jelly, I personally love jelly but here's an alternative for you. Literally all the ingredients are store bought and this is why it's my new favorite dessert because it's so easy to make. I really really enjoyed it. All you're gonna need is some chocolate mousse, some peaches in syrup, whipped cream in a can, ultra mel custard, you can still make your homemade custard if you wish, Swiss rolls, I like the caramel Swiss roll, and some berries, a variety of berries. This is the mini caramel Swiss roll. They didn't have the one that I usually like. This is the Lamington version, but it still does have the caramel in it. Alternatively, if you don't want it too sweet, you can go with a Madeira cake or even lady fingers. Today I'm doing individual portions and I'm using my wine glasses and these are on the larger side. The Swiss roll looks very pretty when you're serving, so the base gives you that little swirl at the bottom. Very, very beautiful. You can just use one mini roll per serving if you wish. Once you're done, we're going to start adding some peach syrup. So this is just from the can of peaches. Again, according to how sweet you'd like it. So just a couple tablespoons. We don't want it too soggy. Once we're done, we're just going to start adding some peaches and about three or four slices should be sufficient per serving. Mine is on the larger side. Next, I'm going to add my custard and this is not the homemade custard nor is it the one that you cook on your stove top, which is usually my preference, the Moyes custard. This is the instant ultramel custard. Followed by a variety of berries. Today it's raspberries, some blueberries. I've also diced up some strawberries, which I will add shortly. And then I've kept the blackberries for the presentation, final presentation, which I will add to the top of my chocolate mousse trifle. Strawberries and kiwi go so well together, so be experimental. Try whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm sure it will be just as tasty. Next, I'm adding my chocolate mousse. It's so good that it's just ready straight from the jar to my glass. This layering takes so much of effort though. <laughs> So the chocolate mousse was very indulgent but surprisingly light which made it easier for me to finish this entire goblet of trifle. Next I'm going to add my whipped cream and today I'm going to add just the normal flavor and then there's a chocolate flavor. And as Randy mentioned in the comments his mum used to say it must look good to taste good. This does have everything but the kitchen sink. Use a spoon to keep it nice and smooth and level so you have that distinct layers when you're serving. I'm now adding my chocolate whipped cream. And because it's the final layer, I'm not going to use my spoon to level it down. And then I'm just adding all of my berries, including my beautiful blackberries. How gorgeous do they look? Are these blackberries or mulberries? So now I remember growing up I used to take the leaves of the mulberry tree to feed my silkworms. And there you go. If you want to add a dusting of icing sugar for presentation purposes, you can. I thought there was enough sweetness in this glass. But how gorgeous is this? So beautiful. It was wiped out within seconds. And the person that could not wait one more second was Yavi and he was super impressed. I hope you enjoy this chocolate mousse indulgence. It's my new favorite trifle. It definitely makes life easier with this quick hack and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as we have. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Kindly hit that notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. Please like and share and your comments are always very welcome. Please stay safe and I'm sending you lots of love for myself, Selena at Perimas Kitchen.